All right. Um, right now, uh, today, we're going to talk about the new uh, striped bass regulations. I'm waiting on the bite here. No fish out. So I did this. Um, I think they said something. This is what I heard the new regulations are supposed to be. It's about an 18% reduction in the northeast. Uh, up from Maine down to down south. I don't know, somewhere past Virginia, North Carolina. <laughs> Uh, South, who knows? 18% uh, reduction, and uh, I think New York's proposing, I think, 28 to 36 inch slot fish. And also, I heard that they're gonna disregard the use of J hooks and require the use of circle hooks or something like that with bait. Um, so, those are gonna be the supposed to be uh, the new regulations. I don't know how far they are into it or if they even decide it. They say 28 inches to 36 inches. I believe one fish in New York. And uh, supposedly you can't use, won't be able to use J hooks anymore. And you'll have to use circle hooks for bait or something like that. And there might be some stipulation with, li I don't know, live bait, dead bait. I can't keep up with regulations. But that's what it's supposed to be. Something like that. If now, as per the regulations, I think they make mention that you're allowed uh, that one fish in that slot and as far as the slot size limit what I personally think is I don't think it makes a beans if you can keep one at 12 inch or one at 90 inches um, I, uh, as an angler a single angler on the shore like we are now I really don't see it making much of difference at all now as to why I, I believe it's not going to make a difference is my regulation has always been a higher standard. Um, I don't keep many fish and the ones I do fish I, I do keep them with a little bit of common sense. Uh, everyone that I know, literally everyone that I know personally, distant and close, um, really don't keep any fish. Um, I mean they certainly do keep fish. Um, here and there, but sensibly, and their regulations are better than anything you can put out there. Um, so as far as like putting a size limit on the fish, I don't think it'll make a difference. Just because of that fact, and I know almost all of you guys, or most, most of you guys out there feel the same. I know your regulations are higher than what they'll ever make them. So it doesn't make a difference. I don't think so. Now, as per po you know, I hear people talk about poachers, and to be honest, I don't see them, number one. Um, number two, um, if anyone is poaching, it don't matter what you make the regs are. A poacher is always going to be a poacher. They're going to keep fish, uh, they're going to fill up a bucket, or they're going to keep that uh, fish they're not supposed to fish. So whatever regulations you make, they're still going to poach. But in the end, I mean, I honestly don't see many people do that at all. I mean, in terms of this year, I have not seen any. Um, and I'd have to really think hard to remember the last time I've ever seen anyone poach fish. And let alone, you know, I've seen people keep a fish 27 maybe, could have been 28, so I'm not gonna go over there and start an argument um, over an inch, you know, which could or could not be. Um, but I, I don't think that is gonna make a difference. It just, poachers are going to do what poachers are going to do they're going to poach no matter what the regulations are now one thing i strongly agree um as per the regulations what we're doing here the shorebound angler um is a different thing than someone say out on a boat and is a different thing than someone doing a commercial venture so i believe that you know there should be three different sets of regulations to begin with Obviously, the commercial regs are different. Um, they're probably more lax. Um, <laughs> uh, as far as fishing from the boat, it's clearly advantageous a lot of the time. Um, size and numbers. The shore, shorebound angler, really, you just have like one single sampling point. And to regulate, you know, all three entities somewhat the, sa somewhat the same is just... Uh, doesn't make sense to me. So really there should be different sets of regulations for the type of angling you do. Uh, whether it be long lining, uh, surf casting from the sand with a single lure or bait and rod, or uh, fishing from a boat with 30 rods in the water. All different 
sets of regulations. Um, one set for all just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, one of the last things that uh, I want to bring up is, you know, as far as these regulations, I believe it's 18% across the board, but every state has different regulations, and some of the states where these fish spawn are quite lax. As a matter of fact, they're, they're, they're lax, I believe, north of the Draw Washington Bridge right now. Um, so if we all have different regulations, it's just too hard to follow. I, I believe some of these states, uh, you, you can keep more. You can, I had a subscriber tell me that in his state, he's allowed to keep two bass. Um, I believe one was over 20 and the other one was over 24, or maybe 28 or something like that. And I know that there's a few states like that, you know. Um, so you let those fish go. You know, they head down that way and they get caught up anyway. I, I, if they do, I don't know. But uh, it's interesting. Now, one reason why I, I don't think it matters the size of the fish is just the way the bass spawn. Um, those bigger fish, uh, they're old fish. Um, they're senior citizens. Um, as far as breeding, uh, they're, they're just about done. It's really, if you let a, I believe you let, you know, a 28 inch back fish back. You're probably doing more good than if you let back a, a 70 inch fish for sure. Um, it, it, it's all, you know, genetic variability. I believe there's about 12 males that spawn per female fish or something like that. You know, those bigger female fish, uh, you know, 30 year old female fish, she's done her job. She's done spawning. Um, so I don't, you know, as far as the spawn, I don't. I don't see it, you know, dented into that any, you know, you're not going to change nature. Uh, people think they can, but nature's going to do what nature does. And, you know, the striped bass, they'll do what they do. As much as we like to think uh, we can help, you know, they do their own thing. And uh, nature does its thing. I don't, I don't think as far as the spawn that... Uh, you know, keeping a 70 inch fish, you're gonna, you know, hurt, you know, subsequent generations. I think you're gonna hurt more generations if you keep a 28 inch fish. That's just my opinion. I don't think in the end it matters the size of the fish as per the, you know, the quality of fish you get. Unless, of course, you're fishing in a fish pond. That's a different story. <laughs> you know. <laughs> the big fish in there and you only breed the smaller fish in the fish tank that's what you're gonna get but it's just the stock is too big to manage as for the hooks uh the hook part the very definition i think of angling is uh, uh rod line and hook um to cut into that definition i don't know it just doesn't seem right um i like all kinds of hooks for all different things and to limit that um is not i don't know it just doesn't sit well I don't know, it's like where do you, the definition of angling is catching fish by hook and line and uh, I don't think, I don't like the idea of uh, someone telling me what kind of hook to use or not to use. If I want to use a, a 20 o hook for bluegill, a uh, circle hook for bluegill. <laughs> That should be, you know, what I do if I want to use a number eight J hook for striped bass, I should be able to. Um, it just bears in the definition of fishing, angling. But fishing's all about hooks and the cut into that definition. I don't know. Just not, not kosher. Now the part of, with the, the hooks, where does it end? I mean, uh, you go from, you know, J to circle to barbless to, you go from treble J to circle to barbless circle to three hooks to one hook. Uh, before you know it, you're down to using Velcro as some kind of lure because a hook, you know, a hook just doesn't do it, you know, a, a proper. So where, where does it end? Where does that definition end? It's just, I don't know.
you know it, it, I, I think you know the very essence of fishing and angling is all about the hook it's right there in the definition wow that's a that's a fluke it's all there in the definition and uh you know right here i got a treble hook you know it, it's just for a reason you know and to take those options away to me i you know it, it just doesn't weigh well it, that's what fishing's all about fishing is about hooks and using hooks So, in the end, I just don't feel that these here regulations would make too much of a difference, you know. I think even if you made the limit zero, or you ban fishing, all the other factors involved are just too great to make a difference. And uh, that's just one of my firm opinions. Um, it, you know, it, it's a big environmental issue. Big, uh, that's what it boils down to. It's uh, not the recreational angler. But, uh, sundial of a day. <laughs> but, uh, let's sum this all up. Um, basically, the regulations, just one second, deal with this, hooks. And of course, size of fish. So let's just sum out real quick what we were talking about in a couple of simple <coughs> sentences. But it's supposed to be somewhere in there, I'm guessing 28 to 36 inches at one fish. Um, I don't think it makes a beans if you made that 12 inches to 90 inches or 90 inches at one or one fish. Um, you need to regulate people. I, th I believe you need to regulate different methods of fishing uh, differently. And people I know, their regulations, their standards are higher than that. And they're going to be higher than that. Just the way it is. Um, so I don't think it makes a beans what this is. Um, in addition, uh, J hook and circle hooks. Um, that cuts right into the very definition of angling, I believe. Um, I like J hooks and I like circle hooks. I use both for different things. Um, I don't think any one is nicer than the other um, if you use them right. But that, I believe, cuts right into the definition of angling and having someone tell you how to fish and what type of hook you use. I don't know. I, I just think one hook is better in a circumstance than others. That's just my belief. But um, that pretty much so sums it up. Um, but an uh, interesting one, but be sure to uh, please like or dislike, uh, I'm sure you're going to do one or the other. Um, comment, I'm sure there's a few comments, and I'd like to hear more whether you agree or disagree, and everyone is sure there's someone out there with a great idea that we haven't heard yet. And uh, subscribe to the channel or not, and uh, remember always, fish away, and uh, I'm going to get fishing now. Maybe it'll be a few of those strikers around today. But it's getting dark, so I'm finishing this one out. But uh, thank you for watching. Have a great afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are. I got to change the four on this.